I'm gonna just cut this whole thing. I'm just gonna cut it, control X, and I'll bring it on over to right there. That's where it should go, idiot. Okay, okay. There's no, there's no reason to get all hostile. Let's go back to the, to the, and so now this is picking up this column and let's pull these out to the right. And then I'm gonna pick up this outer column. I'm gonna pick up this outer column here. Okay, so there's the 300. Now that should pull over. Pull over! Or there's the 300. So 100,000 minus the 300 gets us to the 99.7. So there, if I pull this over to page one, there's the 99.7, 12,950. So the 12,950 is here. So we've got the taxable income, 86,750. Boom, page two, letting the software do the, the calculation. 14708. So I'm going to say, let's just plug that in. Uh, 414708. Boom. 15,000 still on the withholdings. We're going to say it's a fairly well paid teacher here at the 100,000. And that's the 2292. Uh, two. Okay. And just for the, just because, let's say, what if they were a married couple? Then we can go up to 600. So now I said they were married, but now I've got. 500 and 500 and they're going to cap them both both so that it'll it'll be capped at, at 600 total 300 and 300 and you can't do something like if i so for example if i pull this on over and then go to the schedule one and page number two there's the 600 now note if i did something funny like this i said like one spouse had had uh what happened k pos o Where's my educator expenses? There they are. Okay, so if I said something funny, like one of them had like 500 or let's say a thousand, but the only, the other one only had 200 and they were both teachers. Teacher? Then I'd go back on over and it capped it at 300 plus 200, which is less than the cap that you would think would be 600, right? But that's not typical. I mean, you would think if they're both full-time teachers, you would think they would have something over 500, uh, over 300 each, which would come to a total of 600. And so if I sum that up, bring that on over to page uh, one of the form 1040, 600. If I mirror that on my worksheet over here, let's do that. We've got educator two, educator two. I'm an educator two. No, I mean the second educator, the second one. Not that you do it the same thing. That's a different two. They spell them different. 99, I think they do. I don't know if they do. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, 99,400 uh, standard deductions up to 25,9 now, which I can mirror over here because now we're married couple. Dublin, the deduction. Dublin it. Dublin it gets us to uh, 73.5, 73.5, there it is, page two, letting the software do the tax, is now at the 8412, which is smaller due to the taxable income being lower and because the tax table, the progressive tax tables being applied are different. So that's the 8412, so 8412, let's say, uh, is here, 8412, and I, I didn't change, of course, the wages, now we have two educators. So, I mean, if they both made 100,000, I should have doubled the wages in order to have a, a proper comparison between the two, but I didn't do that. I'm just have the same 100,000 here. So there's the uh, total of the 6590. We've got a, a calculation of the 6588, 6588. It's a little different. Poor K, the 8412 because this is wrong, four, one, two, two dollars off. It's not a big deal, but still should be exact because I just copied the number over. Okay, so that's the general idea of that. It should be fairly straightforward as long as you remember educator, teachers union, they have their own special above the line schedule one deduction or otherwise known as an adjustment to income. It's right at the top of the schedule too, as you can see prominently displayed at the first one in part two.